love with Pat's two cents. Whoa, I almost forgot to share this with you guys. I had a dream. Yeah. And in this dream, we were in the last days. I believe we were under some type of martial law. This was bizarre. Because in this dream, I had to make up my mind where I stood. And this was one of those things where it was their way or you were going to have to take the highway to heaven. You get my drift? So when they said what they said, I kept thinking, well, if they kill me, at least I'll be in heaven and I won't be down here dealing with this stuff. And I'll just pray that God doesn't let me feel any pain. And I'll pray that God doesn't let me feel any pain so I don't winch and, and you know, yeah. And be intimidated by the pain into, you know, saying something I don't want to say. So knowing what a chicken I am. And yes, I'm a chicken. But anyway, so I was praying for a swift death. And... I'm trying to remember the details as I'm thinking about it right now. But they had just got through questioning someone else. And then they asked me, they said, now, you say this and you're in. You're good. But you say that and it's over for you. And I was like, you know, I can't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. You know, Jesus is my Lord and Savior and... I'd rather be with him in eternity than to be with you and, and caught up in this nonsense down here. So that's what I remember, the guy looking at me very angrily. I mean, a lot of anger and, and, and um, cruelty in his eyes. And the thing I remembered about the dream that I was very happy about when I woke up, I didn't feel afraid. I didn't feel intimidated like, uh-oh, maybe I better change my tune. I, I, I was, I, I stood my ground. Yeah, anyway, better pat myself on the back now. But, uh, but I was glad about that. And my question to you is, in these last days, when you get faced with a yay or a nay and a side to pick, Whose side will you be on? Do you know? Are you sure? That's why we need to pray now. So we won't fail then. Mm. 